Hey comrades, and welcome back to the channel. I'm the Obnoxious Anarchist. Today I want to talk about something very important. In light of the drama concerning black nationalism on Vosh's server, I've seen many anarchists, specifically white anarchists, trying to make their case against black nationalism by making a case against nationalism in general. Many times I had conversations where black nationalism was equated with white nationalism, a mistake even Vosh himself made. So today's video will be on anarchism and nationalism. Now I want to make one thing very clear here. I'm not talking about national anarchism or Nazbols or any of that Anfash j shit. None of these are actual political philosophies and they function more to muddy the waters than to offer any kind of real framework for an anti-capitalist and socialist future. As an anarchist myself, I used to view nationalism in the same one-dimensional way and it's normal that we hate nationalism. Many of us grew up here in the colonial core and had Canadian or American nationalism basically shoved down our throats. Whenever I would hear the word nationalism, I would react viscerally against it because I would superimpose what I thought about nationalism and applied that to everyone. This all changed when I went to university and started to learn about the indigenous paradigm of nationalism and I started to learn the difference between colonial and emancipatory forms of nationalism. Alright comrades, let's get started by defining nationalism. According to the Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy, the term nationalism is generally used to describe two phenomena. First, the attitude that members of a nation have when they care about their national identity. Two, the actions that the members of a nation take when seeking to achieve or sustain self-determination. Here it's important to define exactly what a nation is, and according to Stanford Encyclopedia, a nation is often defined in terms of common origin, ethnicity, or cultural ties. And according to Wikipedia, a nation is a stable community of people formed on the basis of a common language, territory, history, ethnicity, or psychological makeup manifested in a common culture. So, there's no inherent negative connotation to nationalism. It really comes down to what exactly is the common history and identity of that nation when judging if it's a revolutionary or counter-revolutionary form of nationalism. Not all nations are equal, and it's a major mistake to assume they are. So, simply put, nationalism is an ideology and movement that promotes the interests of a particular nation, and a nation is a stable human community with a shared culture and interests. Some nations have states to protect them, and others don't, so a purely anti-statist argument is still not an argument against nations. So while I disliked Canadian nationalism because of its colonial past, I was able to really relate with indigenous nationalism in university because of its emancipatory nature. Now, besides the importance of nationalism in terms of the self-determination of a people, as leftists, we always understood the importance of revolutionary nationalism and the transformative nature and potential that comes with it. We support the Republic of Ireland in their struggle against British colonialism. We support Palestinian nationhood in the context of Israeli colonization. We support Catalan independence from the nation of Spain. We support Kurds in their struggle for nationhood. We ought to be supporting West Papuan nationhood in their struggle against Indonesia. And at this point in history, there's no reason why we shouldn't be supporting black and indigenous nationalism here in the colonial core. I'm the Obnoxious Anarchist. Please subscribe below if you haven't already. It would help the channel out a lot. Solidarity, comrades.